Hi guys, Wacker here. Um, well, I'm going to go into the asset um, property editor a little bit, just talk about uh, bringing textures in. Uh, what would probably be worthwhile if I just show you a texture. Um, um, so if, if we look at uh, a stock one, and it's called Brick Worn Red. Uh, so if we look in here, um, what you'll find is with textures, you need to create a material first for them. So we choose material category of geometry. Uh, material type um, can be lit detail. There are other options. Uh, you can then choose the shader type. So um, brick also makes sense here. Exterior wall. Um, you can use uh, gloss corrected or not, depending on what you are doing with your texture. Um, once you've done that, uh, you can then assign the texture for it the normal detail map the detail normal map and the normal map um, if I drill go back we rewind a little bit the, these sections here they are the uh, GDT files uh, so if you click on this I could create a new GDT file so call it test for example it's in there for any assets that you want to create you want to create your own uh, asset pack so you could do it per map or just have one for all your assets and they will, all those assets will get put into the uh, map you're building so I've got one called Wacker Assets and then what I've done um, I've created um, a load of materials so to do that we can right click choose new material give it a name so I'll go test and we get this screen. So from here we need to choose uh, a material type so I'm going to give it lit detail. Uh, there are a lot of choices uh, I don't know what they all are at the moment if I'm honest um, I only wanted to get textures in so I've gone by what they've used as in the stock textures. Um, I can then choose a surface type so it could be anything I want. So I'll choose brick there. I'm going to choose a gloss range so again we'll choose brick uh, usage uh, we can call it exterior wall makes sense if it's brick um, we can then we'll tech tick tech tick gloss corrected um, we can then choose the color map so the color map in essence is this is where we're specifying the actual texture that you'll see in the editor or in game if we click on new image it will then create I underscore test underscore C so the image is test uh, and then it gives it that name. Here we can then choose the image file itself so if I go into art assets I'm going to Wacker, texture assets um, have I converted these ones? We'll just pick we'll pick one of these. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna call it test just to make it all make sense. So I'm going to choose test and I'm going to save that there but then I haven't finished with this texture I need to go back to the material called test and here's where we specify the detail normal map and the normal map. Um, there are lots of other options I've not really played around with the rest of them at the moment uh, but what I'm going to do now is you can see the the color maps are there, which is the actual text you see. Uh, we could choose a normal map from the stock, like this, or you could take that texture here and create a, a normal map or a normal detail normal map. Um, what I will do is if you've got um, Photoshop you could use Photoshop or you could use something like um, the bump generator um, to create these uh, normal maps and detailed normal maps. If I browse, should I browse? No, I'll leave it like this. So we'll leave it like this. Uh, I'll just leave the stock. You can, you know, as I say, if you have a um, tool to create your normal maps, use that and then you can specify it. And when you specify them, uh, you'll end up go to if I choose this large brick one you'll end up with 
materials like this. But in essence, you don't have to worry about it. But if you're going to make the images look really nice when people are playing a game, you need to sort these out. So if I save all this, let's go that, and I go into the editor. And we give it a while to load and la de la. Um, somebody said, please, why can you get rid of get rid of load times? Uh, do you know what? Uh, I, I don't really do video editing. This is not my field. Um, so we can list the textures. Now we created one called test. So hey presto, there is a test texture here. So I could jiggle box. Oops. Makes a bit of sense. Let's come back a bit. Double click. And there we have the custom texture come in. So uh, if you press S, you can do the surface inspection. You can do the shift. You can shift it and do all the things that we used to do in the old editors, and it will just change it accordingly. So if I go to here, see that's shifting it along. We could stretch it and make it look absolutely horrendous. But the point is texture is in there and so the textures I've been importing in were from Valley of the Kings and to show that it works if I go to recent files uh, no I don't wish to save that so we can we can see I've done a search and replace on a number of the textures and we can zoom in and we can see all the custom textures if we uh, go to these they're all here and if we look at that one in particular which is on this door I'm going to show you now it's all there in the editor nicely displayed um, if anybody recognises this, yeah, it's been reused a hundred times. It's probably not the best map in the world, but it was a good one just for me to play around with the search and re search and replace um, features. So you could choose a texture, choose replace. You could start to key in it, or you could just. Um, so if I chose um, some of them, it will do. I'd have to find a texture that's not working, so let's look at that one. So CH plaster 04 doesn't exist. So if we go to find replace, uh, go to texture browser, um, is there a concrete texture we could use? No. Oh. probably use that one so let's go with that so I'm going to apply that it will complain that it says this is not a valid material which it isn't because this is from um, an old map a cod map so this doesn't exist which is fine so it will then replace by name and quite happily it's then gone down if we scroll down we've now got this texture on here um, I'm going to go back to the asset editor because I said I was going to quickly go over that so let's recap on this what we are doing we are creating a GDT file for our own assets so we go to this new DDT and we create the GDT inside the asset this is where you do all the trickery, trickery stuff so any textures or skins you want to do you need to do it in here at the moment I've filtered this down but we could drill down and see there are loads so this one's for clips, fog, everything, graphics there is a lot of uh, assets in here we can look at uh, but if I select that I can just narrow it down to a certain amount of details and I could even choose the material that I want to look at we then, in our GDT file, or container as I like to call it, create 
a new material not new assets a new material so um, because it does texture streaming you have to do a few other things so you're not just bringing in a, a the texture asset you're creating a material for it rather like you would in Photoshop I guess um, just to the heck of it uh, lit detail and again it can be anything you want we could go for metal we're doing a roof. So we set up the material and then we specify the colour map. So I'll pick one I've already done. So go for large brick. I've, we create uh, the colour map for it which will give us the C image and we set the various settings that we want applicable to this. We then go back to the material. You then put in your detail normal map and your normal map. Um, again, if you, like me, don't have Photoshop, um, thanks to Zero, he suggested this program. It works really well. Um, you can download it, it's free. It works really well. You can bring your image in. So if we uh, add an image, let's add something I've not done one for yet. So take Relief 03. By the way, look, this is not part of the tools, this S bump generator. It's just give you an idea of how we can do it. Um, we can generate a normal map. Give it a name. So now I've got my um, relief normal set. We could actually go to the relief. Um, we could go to my normal map. And I could create a new image. Choose the texture. So in my assets, there's my normal relief. I'm going to save it. I'm going to go back to the relief 3B it's set there, save it again, so now I've done the normal map and then, I, then if I want to do a detailed normal map I can do, I've just left it like this for, de for until I'm ready to do more work on this side of things um, it's pretty late for me now, it's uh, getting on towards midnight I'm going to leave that as a little taste of the asset thing uh, I need to play around with this a lot more um, it's a lot different from what I'm used to uh, when it comes to the Call of Duty series um, but I think anybody familiar with Photoshop and other um, proper graphics programs will understand how materials work and you'll probably do a better job than I. Um, so if this video is quiet, again I'm just really struggling at the moment. Uh, but again you can see the images I've pulled in. Uh, they look okay. Uh, they're not the highest quality ones given that these images originally came from a Soldier Fortune map. Uh, they've been dragged through the ages um, all the way into 2016 and they do work so it's looking pretty good to me um, this map really won't be usable though because it's got all the assets that are completely irrelevant for Black Ops 3 that's all for now guys um, sorry if it's not the best quality video again um, I'm going to hopefully find time to spend with the asset manager uh, over the coming weeks and then knock out some proper videos and look in more detail at how we can use it better.